Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new and welcome to episode one of Let's Play The Sims 4 High School Years. The new pack is out and we're going to be doing a big let's play with over 30 sims. We have eight different households that we're going to be swapping between with and we're going to have lots of different storylines, lots of different characters. I posted a video yesterday of all of the sims that are in the series so I'm going to link that in the top right corner and in the description box. Definitely recommend you check that one out. I talked about everybody's storylines and backgrounds and what we can expect to see from them in the let's play but we're starting off with scarlet here so the sims are divided into groups based on kind of like a high school clique this is because i did a creative sim series like four years ago that had different high school cliques they were very stereotypical on purpose something you would see in like a tv show very dramatic very over the top as well so this household is the mean girl so we have scarlet right here right I don't know why she's just standing around. Oh my god, I can't zoom in. Here she is. So she is like the main mean girl. I don't know how mean they're actually going to be in the series. <laughs> then we have Isabel or Izzy up here. Oh my god, the lighting in this place is intense. And then we have Chantel as well. So we're going to start off playing these three girls. They're in this house that I built when Get Famous came out. So it's kind of an old build. I might change it. I also haven't customized any of their houses. I really do want to give them like personalized rooms and stuff. I think these girls need a pinker house <laughs> but i did not have time to do that considering i have updated over 30 sims for this series i gave them over 300 outfits so i will probably include the room makeovers in this series but let's get started i haven't played much with this pack i did have early access so i did one day of school and then i looked at the new apps and one of the new side hustles but i do really want to look at the new app so we have a social bunny I'm honestly obsessed with this app. It's really, really fun. So I wanna get this set up for everybody. So currently, oh my God, they only know each other, but obviously there's like so many Sims in the series. So once they get to meet them, I'll add them as well. So here are our friends now. I don't think we can post anything because we currently don't have anything to post about. You need to do something exciting for that. But now they all have each other added. I think we might as well join an after school activity now. I would like them all to be in the cheer team. I think some other sims will be as well, but definitely these three girls. Oh my God, we could give them the cheerleader outfits as well. Oh, I forgot. We can also do drama club and scout now. These aren't part of this pack. I'm guessing this is from Get Famous and this is from... This is from Seasons, I don't remember, but we're gonna be joining the cheer team. I'm gonna have all the girls join. Okay, all the girls have now joined and they all got a cheer mat in their inventory. So I think we should actually place that down. I don't think we need this foosball table. So maybe it can fit right here. Oh my God, it's so small. Okay, we can fit two of these in here. I guess they're like individual mats. We'll definitely do pink. I like the yellow as well. But yeah, we'll do pink. I want to make this whole house more pink anyway. It is currently Sunday, so we have our first day of school tomorrow. I think I want them all to do their homework and then... Oh, okay, they need to work on their fitness skill, but they all need to practice cheer with the cheer mat. So I think we'll do that. So let's see, perform solo routine. Well, these girls are both right here, so I'm going to have them practice. I want to see how bad they're going to be. <laughs> Oh, okay, so they're gonna be just wearing their athletic wear. Oh my god, I wish I turned them the other way around. Well, we can just look from this side. A little stretching. Okay, and this levels up their fitness skill as well. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I love that they're not doing the exact same thing. This is so cute. Okay, we need to put the third mat down somewhere as well. So Chantel can also practice. Maybe we'll put the last one outside. Why not? 
Okay, they're only 25% done, so they need to do this for a while. But that's good, they're starting their practice. I mean, they only joined today. Oh my god, Chantelle is down here as well. I love all of their pink athletic wear. They're all wearing pink for all outfits. I have to do it. It's not that late, so I think once they're done with this, okay, they're done now, um, we could head over to the library in the new world of Copperdale and see if we can meet any of the other teenagers, and then they can do their homework there. I did add some law trades that makes homework and reading easier to complete at the library. I'm also wanting to add a lot of new uh, commercial lots everywhere and give them all the teen neighborhood lot trade so that we can meet our other teenagers all over the world. I've only added like one cafe so far but that's definitely the plan to add loads of community lots where we can go because I'm not sure if the other teens will spawn in school. I heard from some of the other game changers that they couldn't get any of their other teens that they weren't currently playing with to show up at the school so we'll see. But yeah, I think is Chantelle done as well? Yeah, she has completed this task. So let's head on over to the library. So we have the new world of Copperdale. Yeah, I have a fleet household in here. The rebels and the skaters live over here in this house. The school is here. I did change the school. Once we go to the lots, I will show you the gallery posts for them. I didn't build any of these except the house we were just in. I just downloaded them from the gallery. Here is the new cafe I put in, but here is the Lakeview Library. As you can see, it has the Law Trades Team Neighborhood, Study, Spots, and Peace and Quiet. So I think this would be the perfect place to do our homework today. <gasps> we could also head over to uh, the pier and like the amusement park. I have not been there yet. But I think the most important thing is to complete our homework. So let's head on over to the library. Okay, this is what the library looks like. I obviously love it. I think it's so cute. This whole area is super cute. I love this. Like look at this gazebo with this pond with the koi fish. Like I'm obsessed with this place. So let's look inside. I haven't really been in here. Just a cute brown and white theme going on. Who do we have here? Not any of my sims, but we're gonna do our homework. Oh, we could do it together. Let's actually click that one, do homework together, since we are all in a group. We haven't checked our calendar and it's blinking at us, so what do we have in here? We have Thursday, we're gonna have the football team sports day that doesn't really affect us, or at least these three sims. I do have other sims that I want to join the football team. Then Friday, you have exams. Every single Friday, you have exams all day. Oh, and the cheerleading team sports day is on Friday. So on Friday, we'll play these girls. And then on Thursday, I definitely want to play at least some of the guys who will be in the football team. And then Saturday, we have prom. I'm pretty sure prom works that once you go, it doesn't appear on the calendar anymore. So we don't have to go this first Saturday. We can just wait and go later because I feel like we shouldn't have prom that soon. So we'll see what we want to do about that. Okay, we're starting on our homework, our phone. Okay, Social Bunny seems to have some, oh, messages. <gasps> okay, this is so weird because I can't tell who she sent this message to, but she said, wouldn't it be just so terrible if you happen to find some sabotage objects in your future? That feels like a mean message and I don't know who she sent it to. Could it be one of the other girls? <gasps> oh my god, it was she sent it to Chantel. <laughs> they're all like frenemies, like they're friends, but they're also like the mean girls, so they're not super close. I can definitely see them still being kind of condescending and giving like backhanded compliments to each other. We're gonna react to this. <laughs> Let's do this like shrugging emoji. Oh my god. Their relationship went down a little bit. Wait, oh my god, Theo just showed Hello. up. So Theo is Izzy's boyfriend. He is one of the jogs that we will be playing at some point. I want to see my other sims show up as well. But yeah, all the girls are focusing on their homework. I mean, I think he came to see us. Oh my god, talk about marriage. <laughs> She would totally do that. She's kind of a serial flirt though. They are in like a committed relationship, but 
Isabel is very flirty, but also a little bit clingy, and she is proud to be Theo's girlfriend because Theo is the quarterback. Oh, this is one of my sims as well. So Alonso showed up as well. He is part of the like goths and emos. <laughs> I hope no one takes offense to the clicks. I'm not gonna really keep to them in this let's play, but I did take the Sims from that original Creative Sims series. I don't know if we would really wanna be friends with Alonso. Um, we can do like a rude introduction to him. Oh my God, <laughs> of course. Oh yeah, I did wanna look at their aspirations. Like for example, she has the Drama Llama aspiration. So she needs to gossip five times, spread a rumor, and mess around in the cuddle cards. I don't know what that is. Travel to the pier and click on the cuddle cards. Okay, well, we could do that with Theo, easy peasy. Could we spread a rumor right now? Mischief, spread rumors about woohoo, that is terrible. But let's see if we can complete this part of our aspiration right now. Oh my god. This is very dramatic. <laughs> Did she do it? Yes, okay, perfect. He didn't seem too bothered. So Scarlet has the admired icon aspiration. So these are all new teen aspirations. We're gonna play through all of them. She needs to join a tea post challenge, make 10 teen friends. That is a lot, okay, we need to start on that. And then she needs to post on social bunny five times. Have we done anything worth posting about yet? Oh, we have, okay. So we can post about a new outfit or joining a club. Let's do a new outfit and let's do energized. Instant access to a new social group. Why doesn't everyone join an after school activity? Wait, didn't I choose the outfit one? This sounds like joining the new group. Oh my God, did I click it wrong? Well, we're gonna make two posts. Let's be happy about our new outfit. New outfit, new me, check me out while I new boot scoot around, whatever the heck that means. Oh my god, our librarian is so extra. Look at her tiara. Okay, well, Chantal has completed her homework. Can she post about anything? She can. Oh, and we can also react to these other posts. Wait, can we not? I thought we could. Has she already done it? I don't know, but let's post about our homework. Let's be confident. Yeah, I feel like she would never show her distress or anything. She would want other people only to see good things about her. That assignment is out of the way. Next class is going to be easy. Why can we react to our own posts? I don't get that. Wait, can we send a message to Alonso, I know he just left. Maybe we can add him as a friend. Okay, so we can add Brent and, okay, not Alonso apparently, <gasps> but we could send Theo a flirty message. Oh my God, let's do that. Wanna go to the ice cream stand? I'd like a scoop of you, of course. Okay, well we can react to these other posts. So let's give our girl some love. Oh, Theo's still around and Scarlett's having a chat with him. They should be friends. They're both popular. So we're going to be nice to him. And obviously he is the boyfriend of one of our friends, at least for now. We're not going to flirt with him. Absolutely not. But we'll discuss our interests. I don't think we have a crush yet, but we can get advice on the social bunny post. Why not? I don't think we'll go to the pier today. We've already been to the library. It's almost 9 p.m. So we're probably gonna head home and then do our first day of school tomorrow. We're just gonna say bye to Theo and then we're gonna head home. I think we should hire a butler. I'm just trying to figure out where to put his bed. Is it rude if we just shove it in a corner? Okay, I sectioned off this little corner <laughs> and we're just gonna put his bed in there. I'm sure I'll finish off decorating this house at a later time. So let's see if we can hire a butler. Yes, oh my God, I think we should do it. There's so many things. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna hire a butler because we need someone to make us food. I don't think the girls are gonna do it. And I don't wanna have to order food every single time. Okay, they have an excellent candidate to join our residence as a live-in butler. Please assign them a bed to sleep in. Oh my gosh, this is our butler. Rua, oh my God. 
I feel like we need to give them a makeover. <laughs> okay, here he comes. <laughs> he does look very butlery. Let's see if we can ask him. Yeah, butler. Assign task. Cook a family meal or a party meal. Please cook us a party meal and please make it good. Oh, and yeah, most of the teens live by themselves. I didn't have time to make everyone parents and stuff. So I do think once the series goes on, most of them will have like at least one parent, maybe two. Currently only one of my households has a parent, but I think it could be useful because they can like reprimand you if you're like sneaking out and doing other sneaky stuff. But currently it's just these three girls, but they are all teenagers, so I think there should be an adult here. I mean, we have him now, but it's not really the same thing, is it? Oh my God, our meal is finished. I don't know where he's taking it. Okay, in the living room, we have some lobster. Oh my God, yes. Okay, well, I'm gonna have her eat this lobster. Sounds perfect, honestly. Lobster as the first meal, yes. And then they're gonna go to sleep and we'll all be back tomorrow morning when it's time to go to high school. Okay, it's morning, the girls are preparing for school. Chantelle was having her lavender bath. That looks absolutely amazing. Isabel is having some breakfast and Scarlett went to bed last, so she's still asleep until the last minute. Maybe we'll have time to do a bit of a cheer routine as well before we go to school. And while we're in here, maybe we should apply facial cleanser brush our teeth if we have time we can also maybe we'll do psych self up school starts in about an hour oh my god she's up and she is enraged worst day ever from her high maintenance traits okay well not the best mood to be in for her first day of school but hopefully she'll get over that soon enough and school should be starting any minute now we're definitely gonna be taking all three girls to school so yep let's take all of them and let's go all right we're here this is what the school looks like so this was made by rachel pet on the gallery it's called copper day high school i changed it a little bit mainly there was this other building in the back that had like a prom set up I feel like the prom is going to be in the auditorium, not at school. So I took all of that away and I built it into like a library, hobby, after school activity room. I did it very quick, so it's not super detailed, but I wanted to have something in there. But this school is absolutely stunning. So we have two hours of morning free time, but we need to go and meet the principal. This is what the school looks like from the inside. Again, I changed it a little bit added some more lockers, changed like the chairs in the cafeteria and stuff. First classroom is over here. Is this class one? It is. So I think all of my sims will be in this classroom. We have bathroom. We have like this entrance area, which I love. Oh, here's the principal. And then this is the second classroom with our class two teacher. And then yeah, this is the place that I quickly made. Just like a little library, you know, some study areas, chess tables, and then like an art area with the woodworking tables as well and some computers for the computer club. But let's all go into the principal's office. So May is our principal. I'm not seeing any of my sims. I'm really not sure if they're gonna show up in school, which I feel like is such a shame. Cause I have like 30 teens in this world. I wish they would show up in the school. Maybe that can be something they change in a future update because why don't they show up? I want to be able to see my Sims in the background, in the school. That would be so fun. Okay, well, since I downloaded a custom school, for whatever reason, they can't get in here. Also, where did our principal just go up? Oh, well, our principal's here. We don't really need to get in the principal's office, but why can't we get in? Oh my God, we just got in. I don't know what I did. Anyways, our principal is over here. So let's go do a friendly introduction, maybe a respectful one. These classrooms are so cute. They're definitely much more detailed than the base school that the pack comes with. Obviously, they can't add so many details in case your computer can't handle it. But yeah, let's see if we can 
learn about the new school, high school, learn about new school. So let's do that. Okay, so we did get this pop up. I'm not gonna read it because I already went over this in my little gameplay video that I did when we played the first day of school. But basically the school day has two periods and we'll be in class one for both of them. And then exams are on Friday. You can also check your class schedule. Today's Monday, so we have math and science. We all, we're also studying social studies, language arts, computer science, art, business, and foreign language. I wonder which foreign language, like what other languages are there other than Simlish? Okay, well, while the other two are finding out about the new school, oh my gosh, let's um, I wanted to claim a locker, but I feel like our class is starting. Yeah, we're already heading to class. Oh my gosh. So we'll have to, uh, Hopefully claim one afterwards. Are all my girls coming? Where is Chantel? So here's our first class. Rita is our teacher for this one. She has four minutes to make it to class. Okay, okay, I think she's good. She made it in time. We have other teens here. We have Greta, is that how you say her name? And Myra and Morgan. But um, yeah, let's um, attend our first class. This is cute. Can you do anything while you're in class? Not that I can tell. You can't really click on anything. Can you ask the teacher something? No. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna sit in class learning our logic skill. I mean, we could probably post on Social Bunny while we're here. Oh my god, she's posting autonomously, but let's see. Post about orientation, sure. Um, let's do... Let's just do happy. First day means a fresh start. I'm excited to make some new friends and see what subjects I shine most in. Wait, I didn't know there was pop-ups. PA announcements. The PA loudly chirps on for some announcements. Chantel doesn't really care to hear about the weather forecast or updates to the school's social calendar. With no lessons going on, now seems like a good time to listen to tunes. Wait, what? Do we want to listen to music in class or listen to the announcements? I feel like she would just listen to the announcements. The announcements methodically droned on and on, repetitive and unimportant to anyone listening. One student even dozed off. <gasps> Wait, I just opened Izzy's social bunny. Theo posted about us. Isabel, Ribby, Wibs. Oh my god. Benzie, Shipna, Boof, Milk, Up, Fruby, Noop. Yeah, my sandwich is terrible. Um, I feel like we should send him a message. Scarlett also messaged us. I ordered a chicken and egg online. I'll let you know which one comes first. Is that supposed to be funny? So yeah, let's um send Theo another flirty message. Let me take you to Plum by Pier. I've got a seat on the cuddle cards reserved just for you. Exactly. That is what our aspiration needs us to do. I mean, we should tag him in a post as well because he tagged us. Okay, well, we said the exact same thing. Twinsies. Okay, well, morning class is over. Yep, right now. So we have our lunch hour. So let's all head over to the little cafeteria that we have. It looks like this. It's really cute. The principal's here as well. We have a vending machine. We'll definitely get some food. How are their needs doing? Okay. What do we want to get? Let's just all get a junior lunch. Why not? Wait, are they even hungry? Wait, Isabel's not hungry at all. They're not even hungry. Okay, well, maybe we can just go and claim our lockers. I put some pink lockers in here, so I thought we could claim some. Although they look like they've already been claimed. So let's claim this one for us. Can you? Yeah, we can still claim that. Perfect. And then Scarlett can claim this one. They all have lockers next to each other. So let's um, decorate our locker. I feel like they would just all have the same decorations, but that's boring. So let me just give her like the anime decorations. I don't know. What's this one? This one's so cute. <gasps> Is it the kawaii one? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's just uh, freshen up by our locker. That's really cute. It's kind of empty, <laughs> but it is what it is. Everyone else is heading over to uh, the cafeteria. I mean, Scarlett needs to make a bunch of friends for her aspiration. So maybe we'll see if we can talk to some of the other Sims here, like 
Greta, Greta, oh my god, I am so bad at saying this name. Let's just see if we can make a friend. Obviously, everyone, well, the announcements are interrupting me. Everyone knows these girls, they're the popular girls at school, but I feel like we need to actually be popular by knowing a lot of people. There are so many people here. Um, Izzy's working on gossiping with some of the other students since that is part of her aspiration. Wait, you can convince other people to join your team? As in your cheer team? Is that what it means? Who would we want to join? Definitely some of my sims. I don't know who from here. Oh my god! Okay, our next class is starting. The bell is going off. I totally forgot to work on these other things that we were supposed to do like be friendly with a student so they all have the same thing no she was supposed to study for exams be friendly with faculty member okay well i got distracted i love how literally every single person is on their phone talent show the student body is trying to organize a talent show scarlet thinks this would be a great opportunity to show off her comedy skills Scarlett's friends constantly tell her she's funny, so why not expand her audience? Should she sign up? Um, comedy? I wish it was something else. I feel like she wouldn't take the risk of having people laugh at her. But on the other hand, she is popular. Other people shouldn't. They should support her. But we're just gonna click not worth the risk. She decides to opt out. Her jokes are for her and her friends only. She would rather enjoy the show as an audience member anyways. But that's cool. Oh, and they do have cheerleading practice after school. Okay, I think school is over. I think they all reached, yeah, gold status for school today. End of day report. They all impressed their teachers and learned a lot today. Perfect. I really wanted them all to come back here. I don't know if they have enough time. Oh, she's too uncomfortable. What the heck is going on? Their cheer practice starts in like 30 minutes, but maybe I could do a cheer routine back here because there's this big team mat. By the way, it's like super hot today. It's a heat wave. Can you see it? Everything is like wobbly. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode very soon. It's been over an hour of me recording. I don't want the episodes to be too long. Next time I'm thinking we could play with either like the rebels or my overachiever sim and the people in that household or maybe we can swap between a couple different households. But definitely check out the create a sim makeover video because you'll get to see all of them and then you can tell me who you would most likely want to see in the series and who we should play next. But yeah, they're all off to cheerleading. It's a rabbit hole, then they'll be back. They'll probably do some practice, finish their homework. And then next time we'll take somebody else to school. But I do wanna go to the cuddle cards with Theo and Izzy as well. So maybe we can play as Theo, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. We did get a pop up. Just like that, a fight breaks out in the middle of practice between two teammates. Hard to say if it was instigated from the heat of the sport <laughs> or the heat outside. Or something to do with social media drama. Regardless of the logic or reason, the fight is starting to get good. Get good? And folks quickly gathering around them. Cheer them on. Yeah, let's cheer them on 100%. Wait, we have another one. Okay, stretching is really good, blah, blah, blah. However, Scarlett may have forgotten to do some much needed self-care time and stretch it out before going into practice today. Even though being a top achiever feels great and often portrayed as high reward, taking care of herself should come first. Scarlett will remember to take a stretch break next time. Okay, we'll be mindful next time. Sure thing, look at all of their cheerleading uniforms. Obsessed. What happened with the fight? Um, a fight is a fight and it's much more entertaining than practice. Chantel joins the others in cheering on the fight. Entertainment beats responsibility. She got a slight performance loss. That's fine. And Scarlett will need to take it easy for a little while. It should not be too bad to take a few days off practice, right? Oh my god, it definitely would be. Since two team members are injured now, Scarlett will make sure to voice concern about the dangerous moves. Perhaps it's not the best way to go. What on earth happened at practice today? Oh my god, she's so uncomfortable now. Battered and bruised, I feel like. Oh my god, I keep clicking the wrong thing. We need to do a social bunny post about this. 
let's post about our cheerleading practice and let's do uncomfortable. I'm a person and not a pretzel. I'm pretty sure my limbs aren't supposed to bend like that. Can Chantel also make a post about the flight or something? Let's um react to this. Let's um send her some love. Let's do energized about cheerleading practice. We hear it, we cheer it. We've got lots of pride and spirit. Ignite, excite, look at us, we're dynamite. <laughs> okay, well yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below if you have any ideas for the Let's Play. Which group should I play with next? Should I quickly show you them? Okay, so we have the Mean Girls in here. You cannot see them, there's more people in this group. But this group has the theater kids and the band kids. Pretty sure there's five of them. Then we have the jocks, but we have Elliot here. Oh my god, I can't believe he wasn't in this episode once. So this guy, Elliot, he is like part of their clique, so he's definitely friends with them. And then we have Theo and Jamal. And then we have Gabriel, who is going to be our fashion designer, fashion influencer. He's going to be using the trendy app. Then we have the gods and the emos. Don't really have a storyline for them yet, so if you guys have ideas, let me know. Then we have the rebels and the skaters. Again, just ignore the names of these groups. Is that really going to be a point in the series? But we have our like rebel sims, like Camilla here has the new like rebellious aspiration that I want to play with. And then this group has some of our misfits and wallflowers. And then we have Heidi here, who is our overachiever sim. But I love these sims, definitely want to play with them. Then we have like the nerds and the geeks. So here we have Harper, who is going to be our gamer streamer sim. Definitely want to play with her. I think there's one more sim in here. You can't see her. I have some random gallery poses, just ignore those. And then we have this group, which we have like the artistic sims and then like the vegans, animal lovers, the more like hippie sims. So, oh, and they also have an exchange student, this guy here. So they live on a farm. I kind of want to play with them as well. So let me know who we should play with next. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for a new Let's Play because I am. There's so many sims to play with. There's so much to do, so much to explore. So I'll be back with a new episode very soon. I hope you guys are having a great day and bye.